Pro Fools virus March is just about over, and tomorrow a new virus is hitting cyberspace that could wreak havoc on your computer's network. First, there was Y2K. Now, in 2009, on April 1st, a new threat to computers. Tonight, Eyewitness News digs into the story to find out what you can do to protect your network. Eyewitness News reporter Alex DePrado joins us now live with the story. Mike, the Conflicker virus mainly targets networks, so businesses need to be most concerned. Think of your computer as a piece of sliced Swiss cheese. It gets in through those holes, and if you've closed those holes with the latest antivirus software, you'll be all set. Deep within the internet, the Conflicker virus is out there, set to wreak havoc on unprotected computers with Windows on April Fool's Day. What it's going to do is it's going to be instructed to perform a series of attacks on whatever they decide to make it do. The Conflicker virus is a worm looking for open holes on a computer. It works its way in and spreads to other computers with the same vulnerability on the network. Southern New England Computer Services says Conflicker could steal anything from passwords to banking information. By leaving a security hole in your computer, now you're more vulnerable to other spywares, other key loggers. Key loggers are things that are installed that are going to grab your password. Computer experts have updated antivirus software to fill unprotected holes and shut Conflicker out of Microsoft. The main computers that are not protected are computers that do not have all the updates. Experts say type in the URL of an antivirus site to download the current updates. People who do a Google search could be sent to a bogus site, which doesn't offer any virus protection. The first thing you do if you want to is make sure your antivirus is up to date. Just like if you look like not antivirus, see a green check mark, you want to make sure that it's running all up to date. Well, experts say they expect the Conflicker virus to come and go without any problems because most people have got the word. Now, if you get the virus and try to download the antivirus software and it doesn't work, you should really see a computer expert. Reporting live tonight, I'm Alex DePrado, Eyewitness News. Do attend tonight, a former Providence School Superintendent finally landed.